I think there are two parts to it. So obviously there was this political pressure led by Bernie Sanders, but also the labor market is extremely tight, particularly at the low end. That's where we've seen the most job gains recently. We've seen upward pressure on wages and Amazon is hiring. And so uh, they sort of needed to do this to be able to continue to hire at the pace that they have been. David, why do you have a problem with the economics of this? Well, I mean, the biggest problem, if none of this was happening, is you have a stock price trading at 158 times earnings. Hasn't made a bit of difference for an awful long time, and I have no way to time when it will make a difference. But the stock is priced far beyond perfection. So just for us as value people, it's way more expensive than we'd be willing to touch. But specifically with this, I believe that there is a real problem that will creep into valuation, will end up helping to compress that multiple. Uh, first and foremost, they will not end up spending more in wages. They will end up hiring less people. I think that Liz is right that they have a uh, kind of hurdle they have to get over of new hire needs right now. But through time, they're going towards an automation process that's going to be hiring less people. They can afford to pay this greater increase in wages and now go trade it in for a chip of political um, optics that are really beneficial to them. But if anybody at Amazon believes that this is the last pound of flesh, that the progressive left wing of the Democratic Party is going to try to get out of them, they have another thing coming. There's monopolistic issues, all kinds of stuff that I think Amazon's going to be in political crossfire for years to come. But David, on the wage front, has this not proven that they've moved ahead of the curve and uh, now will put the pressure on some fellow retailers, some fellow big corporations and take the spotlight off Amazon for a while? Well, again, it depends if you mean the optics and the politics of it or in terms of real substantive wage averages, because, of course, every company has different tiers of compensation. Not everything is centered on the lowest level of compensation, entry level employees. So I think that you have certain competitors, and people talk about this a lot with Walmart, that on their entry level might have a lower per hour wage, but have a higher benefits cost, or have significantly higher compensation to mid-level employees. So you kind of have to be able to look at the whole picture before you can evaluate it, not just uh, politically, but economically as well. Whose margins get squeezed off this, Liz? Well, I think Amazon's margins will get squeezed uh, in the near term, but I think there are multiple angles to this. And so they're a consumer-facing company, um, at least, you know, in their retail division. And this wage upper weight, upward wage pressure is good for their consumer. And so I think you can't ignore that. I think you also uh, need to understand that part of the problem was that their employees are collecting public benefits because they're underpaid. And so you do need to look at it holistically and talk about the entire compensation of the um, of the employee. But I think that Senator Sanders uh, point was that <laughs> that the government is is providing entitlements to Amazon's workers because Amazon is underpaying them and Amazon is one of the most successful co companies in the world. And so but I, Long term, I think this will be a benefit to the U.S. consumer, which will end up benefiting Amazon. In terms of the way, Liz, that Amazon continues to take on so many of its rivals, usually it's in terms of entering their, their marketplace. This, I guess, is another way it's doing it, by hiking wages ahead of its rivals. Can it attract the best workers or either, either do that or put them to shame? Right. Um, Amazon has made it very difficult to be a retailer in the U.S. And part of the way that they've done that is raise the expectations about fulfillment, cost and speed. And this is one other way that they're raising the expectations on retailers and making it more difficult to be a successful retailer if you're not Amazon in the United States.